Ollie was very lovable, very cheeky, very happy, loved life, loved his friends, loved school. He had this just an amazing presence about him. But yes, very cheeky chappy. He was always a joker. You, you know, you never need to sort of wither to believe him and he was always sort of playing practical jokes. And sort of towards uh, the end of November, it was, I recall he would say to me, uh, oh, I've got a dizzy head. Uh, and he just sort of veer off into the wall. You know, so in my mind, I was kind of thinking, you know, is there something wrong? Is he just messing around? It was you know, within a space of 10 days, he had gone from being just very normal Ollie to ending up in hospital, um, not being able to walk. So he did a CT scan. Um, within a couple of hours, they sort of said to us that you know, he's got a, uh, a brain tumour, the worst brain tumour there could be, which is a grade four glioblastoma. Um, and you'd be lucky if he's got two weeks to live. And that, that was, I think it sort of kind of hit home then. Um, and, uh, you know, at that point, they also said to us, um, because of his diagnosis, there was nothing more that they could do. He was such a fighter. And I think his, his personality and his love of life just sort of kept him going as long as possible. The Ollie Young Foundation came about when we were having a conversation with a friend and I thought, I, I can't just sit here and carry on as normal. I, something's got to be done because if someone could have done something years ago, then maybe we wouldn't have been in this position. We would like to help other families and we would like other children to be able to grow up and be children really. I've got a lot of faith in in our research project going forward. Yeah, I'm really, really quite excited. Knowing that we helped, that would be Ollie's legacy.